Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So I'm in between right now and I wanted to film because I still have this palette I haven't filmed with yet and I wasn't really excited to play with it, I'm not going to lie. But on the other side, I want to get it up in case somebody is excited. And when I first saw it, again, I have no attachment to the IP. So when I first saw it, I was like, eh. And then I thought, man, it looks like my Jason palette, right? Um, and the palette I'm re referring to is my ColourPop Stranger Things palette. And you know, I work at Ulta. I don't get nothing, mind you. But I work there, right? I have to say that. And I thought that that would probably sell pretty good. Because I hear people talking about the show anyway, you know what I mean? So I kind of thought, oh, that's going to sell we still have some in store okay so apparently I was wrong but more importantly it's n not as popular as far as like makeup goes maybe the show is good but the makeup people weren't interested in maybe or at least not at mine so this is what this palette looks like and I am late to the game as always because I can't seem to find the time but this is what it looks like Okay, now let me show you beside my Jason palette on it. And though I feel like there are some similarities, I don't necessarily think it's anywhere close to the Jason palette, to be fair. Okay, first off, this one. <laughs> so much better. I said it. I'm kind of disappointed in this one, to be honest. I haven't played with that many shades, but this one, this is where it's at, okay? I, if I feel like I want to go that route, this is the palette I want to grab for, not this one. The metallics, they're not really that great. The mattes are fine. They're fine. But, I mean, other than the black, the rest of them, you really don't have any deep, dark tones. Um, It's fine but it's not worth the money I don't think and I'm not for sure on who really purchased this stuff I have to assume it has to be like stranger fans stranger thing fans because even I sat on it before getting in it and then I thought you know I might as well but it's not I don't know anyway Let's get started. I didn't get anything else from the collection because, well, I'm saving my money, one. And two, it, it wasn't even worth my money on this one. This was a, this was more like, I'm just going to do it so you all could see it in action. Not necessarily me because, again, I would pick the Jason palette, to be fair. I also have a new mascara because working at Ulta, I'm sort of paying attention to, like, what people purchase, right? And, like, the number, like you all the things people purchase from there I can tell you that I probably haven't tried half of it I'm just like what do you like about it you know and 9 out of 10 it's always the price point and I get that you know I get that but though I am looking at price point don't get me wrong I want quality I want the packaging I if I'm gonna spend my money I want the whole kit and the caboodle you know but I ended up getting this Essence mascara. I have it in black brown. Uh, a lot of people get the either the original or the waterproof. Those are like the number two. And when I mean they get, they buy five of them at a time. I'm like, what are we doing with that? I couldn't go through five mascara. Well, I probably could go through five mascaras a year. But not really. Like, I say that, but it, I don't know if I really could. You know what I mean? Three, sure. But five, I, I just, I don't know. That seems like a lot. And to buy it one time. I'm just like, we're not running out of that, just so you know. And again, I don't know. Maybe it's the price point. Or maybe that's what they need to buy to get free shipping. I don't know. So. It's quite interesting. But, for face, let's go with over what's on my face. I am wearing the Uma by Sharon C for foundation for concealer I'm wearing the Dior 
Forever Skin Concealer. I did not set my face at all. I know. Shocker, right? For the bronzer, I'm wearing the one from ColourPop that does not have a name. That's just in a bronzer packaging. I don't even know where I put it now. Oh. Here it is. Like, I've... It just doesn't have a name. I've opened it up and everything, and it just says bronzer on this side, but it looks like, like I'm going through it. It's pretty light, though. It's going to, I think, now that winter's coming, like, that's what I'll use in the winter just to use it up. And then I'll get rid of it, because the packaging's broken anyway. But for blush, I wanted to get something with orange, although this, uh, it's Saving the World by the Powerpuff Girls is the blush that I chose, and I thought, like, it looked like it was going to match my shirt. But on my face, again, that whole color theory thing, it's blowing my mind. Like, that's crazy to me. Then, for the highlighter, I'm wearing the Bobbi Brown. I'm trying to wear stuff people can get in store, you know? But it is the Golden Hour highlighter. I have it in, like, the Christmas packaging of one year. I don't know. And that is it. Oh, no. Eyeliner, I'm wearing ColourPop in Show Me. Show Me. Show. Yeah, Show Me. Anyway, so, oh, and for the lips, I am wearing Urban Decay, and I don't know what this is, but it's so hard to read this stuff. Um, California Honey. It's just a little simple thingy. It's old. It came in a set. It still smells good, so that's what's on my lips. I was trying to find something orange, and I could have swore I had an orange Pat McGrath lipstick, but I can't find it, so I don't know. All right, let's get started. So the first shade we're going to do is 11. It's right here. So you would think that it would probably go on a little pink, right? And I guess it kind of does, but you really cannot see it on my lid at all. And I go in quite heavy with it too, to be fair, but here we are. I don't really see it much. I don't know. I swatched a couple of like the metallic shades and then I think there's like two glitter shades in here. I'm trying to figure out like what I was going to put on my lid to A, match my shirt somewhat because this palette really doesn't go with orange. Let's be real. But I was trying to make it work because this is what I wore to work today and I have to go back to work. So, um, I enjoy my job, obviously. Um, but anyway, so yeah. I enjoy one of my jobs anyway. We'll say that. Not a fan of the other one. I don't know what it is. I think that I'm just not like a a clothing retailer person. You know what I mean? Like I think that that's some people are good with it and some people aren't, and that's just something I'm not good with. And I probably wouldn't even be good with the makeup if I wasn't so consumed by it. You know? <laughs> just being honest. All right, we're going to go into the shade, um, Demi Gordon, I think, I don't know, I'm, as you can see, I've never watched the show before, so I have no idea about it, to be fair, but we're just going to put it here, I'm going to try to darken up the outer corner here like there is a black in here so you can go a little I mean you can go dark obviously but you're only going to go dark with one color and that's the black like most of these are mid-tone to light tone shades like even this one I wouldn't consider this dark I really wouldn't it builds up but that's about as good as it builds up and even at that like it isn't that dark, you know? I don't know. I mean, I knew, like, in a way, the color story wasn't made for me. I'm going to take that same shade on the lower lash line. Because I didn't get it right off the bat. Like, I know when I like something. Because I, yeah, I will scramble to get it, especially at this price point. Now, if it's a higher price point, A, I might have to wait, you know, till I get the money. B, save wait for a sale something you know what I mean but at this price point like generally I just would buy it and this just isn't it wasn't you know catching my eye the way 
which I find funny because you would have thought, well, I would have thought, I thought, that this would have caught my eye more so than the Bratz, right? And I purchased the Bratz right away, though. I, I don't know why. Probably my grandchildren is what I was thinking. But, to be fair, I love that palette. And I actually really want to create another look using it. Where with this one, I'm just like, I'm good. I'll use my Jason palette if I want a similar color story, you know? It's not exact, but it is similar enough. And that formula is way better. Way, way better. In my opinion, that is. But yeah, so I am... thinking that I should have skipped on this like I had originally thought, but I took one for the team. You know, if somebody has to be a fool, it might as well be me. We're going back into that first shade. I kind of want to see if maybe we can build it up at all a little bit. Or maybe use it to at least blend out that second shade. I don't know. I'm just trying anything. And I'll be honest, I don't see what all the hype is for this. Is that it? Because it is causing, it's not, like I am watching it to a T, right? And it's not like transferring like too bad, but it is flaking. And at first I really thought it kind of reminds me of Lash Clash. But Lash Class does not flake, flake, number one. And this brown is more of a black brown, which is the name of it, so fair. You know, but I was hoping it was more brown, like the packaging. But it's flake. This is flaking. And I don't know. It's just doing something weird, like under the eye. But it's not, it's not messing up here, but it also... Is it making my lashes look as long? I guess maybe they look a little more thicker, like volume-wise, but length, not so much. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And again, I have to look at it. I'm trying to look at it also as in, it's $4.99, so five bucks. Is it good for five bucks? And I would say yes, if you need a mascara right away, right? But if you have an important event, no. If you're working a long shift and you know it's you're like sweating and stuff, I would say no because I feel like it's going to transfer. I feel like by the end of the night I'm going to look like a raccoon. I could be wrong, but I just I don't think I will be. We're going to take the shade 19 is that 1983 or 85? I don't know. Let's see if it's on this side. Okay, 1983. And it's like a glitter shade. I'm going to pick it up. I did get fallout with this, so do be careful. Put a glitter glue down or maybe use your finger, spray it. I will say their glitter shades have gotten better than, like, the past, obviously. And if I use a spray, it does stick down pretty darn good. Or if I use a glitter glue, it does. But I like to use stuff as is when I'm first doing it so you all can see it yourself. And this brush does pick up the shade lovely. Like I really only have to go in once with it. But there is some fallout. It does kind of, even after, like I put it on my lid and I pat it in with my, the warmth of my finger. Trying to get it to set and anything that's loose will come off on my finger. Um, but it's still flaking. Like as my lid moves or creases and stuff, it flakes off. So just be aware of that. Oh, and for nails, I'm wearing OPI. Where did I put that at? 
it's um, something I want to talk about it's done I think it was from the um, Grease collection that OPI did and it's this bright orange it's so pretty it's I th again I thought it was going to match my shirt and it does to a, t a little bit and then I got my little pumpkin earrings in look at that I'm just all ready for whatever the reason except for my makeup somehow I, I lost track of what I was doing today but here we are uh, I'm going to use the void which is that black and we're going to line the top lash line and bottom lash line this is black I'll give that to it it's actually not a bad black for a black to be fair also like I'm being I'm being as fair as I can be with this palette based on what's in it you know not based on the theming because I can't really speak to that because I've never watched the show but from what I've like seen one day it was launching everybody was happy with the packaging and the theming I'm curious though if they were happy with the performance and the color story at the end of the day I don't know it's just the call I think it is like I guess the formula is not bad I gotta get that glitter out of there or I'm gonna be a mess oh you know what let's do inner corner for inner corner we're gonna go into the shade hungry for blood this one I don't even get that how do you get this color for hungry for blood I'm missing something I'm sure I'll put that on the inner corner there we go now we're gonna line the top lash line like I do think this is a nice black like I think that the colors for the most part are fine it's just the selection of colors is what's not doing it for me there's not enough range in the palette for me and I don't think that the metallics are up to par from what I'm used to either from ColourPop but at the same time it's not like glam light is that expensive and if I had to choose between this palette or the Jason, I'm choosing that one, you know? Because the quality all the way around and the packaging even works with me better than this one. I got oh it's doing something but it's not it's fine we're gonna go back into that demi go whatever that was color and I'm going to kind of try to darken this up a little bit more like that and then run that same shade under the lower lash line with that black <laughs> 